Hi, this morning I want to talk about the um, SIMPS 2 system from Zana. So the SIMPS system is a controlled intensity modulated photocurrent spectroscopy system. So what I'm doing, I'm going to give you a global look at all the boxes and then we're going to um, look at a little bit more detail, show you how to change the light source and I'm going to exp explain what the C in this SIMPS actually stands for, which is really a, con a um, feedback loop for controlling the intensity. So first of all, let's look at the system. It's a SIMPS 2 system. And it's a SIMPS 2 system because it has the Xenium potentiostat as opposed to the um, IM6 system. And it's the 2 system because we're using the PP211 system. So this is a good system for people interested in doing transfer function type experiments. Often people with solar cell type applications would be using a system like this. So the P211 potential stat is a potential stat in its own right. You can use this directly with a PC via USB and it is a potential stat. In this particular situation we're using it with the Xenium system the Xenium system is both a potential stat and has an impedance spec um, spectrometer on board. And the P211 is acting as a slave to the um, Xenium via this card here. So you can see that this EPC42 card can control up to four slaves. And so this nice you know, Limo connector is connecting into the um, back of the P211 potential stat. Now I'm going to talk about what both these potential stats are doing in this system. So this particular um, potential stat has a voltage of 20 volts and a current output of 10 amps. And the reason it's chosen is because this 10 amps allows us to control this light source. So now we're coming over to the um, photo part of the system. So the potential stat is actually controlling a light source here and because it's able to give out 10 amps we're able to drive the light sources to their maximum intensity. If you want to um, change the, uh, the light source it's very simple you can just pull these out they're smart so there's a communication between this device and the box and so all the calibration factors um, and its parameters are transferred and read by the software. So there's no thing to plug in. So you can easily change from um, a white light spectrum. You can go to the UV spectrum. You can go to the infrared spectrum. So there's a very easy way of changing the wavelength of the light. So I'll just put this guy back in. So that's back in there now. So you can change the wavelength of the light by um, just changing the light sources. As you can see, they just come in and out. This is a very um, sophisticated system and it's different from other, all other systems on the market because it has a C in front of the um, SIMPS, the C in front of the IMPS. And the C stands for this here. So what we have here is we have your electrochemical experiment. So you will put your electrochemical experiment here. And near but offset from your electrochemical experiment, so it's not occluding the light. So there'll be a light transmitting or emitting from here and being read by your, um, shining onto your experiment. There's a little sensor here. And you notice that the sensor is actually feeding back to the um, light source and so what's happening is um, if with any other system you have to believe the intensity of the system or the light intensity there's no feedback so you, if, that, if that light source is less intense tomorrow than it is today it will show up in your data but you will in no way understand that that's because it's not because your experiments have changed it's because your light source has changed so this C is really important and I'll say it again, but here's your light source. You apply the intensity that you want to apply, and the system checks it. And if it's not as intense, because this light source has changed in some ways, 
it will increase in intensity. And this is the only system in the world with this feedback. So your experimental system is here. You can truly believe your data because there's a sensor here. And this sensor is controlling the intensity here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to turn this light source on and I'm going to very gently show you how this feedback works. So let me go over here. So what you'll see now is I'm using a visible light um, spectrum um, source and I'm controlling its intensity and I'm controlling its intensity at 100 watts per meter squared. So it's about a tenth of sunlight. So I'm just doing a little gentle experiment and what you'll see is your experiment would be positioned over here somewhat where I'm at the end of my finger is and sitting to the side of it there's a sensor. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a just a little tool and I'm going to start occluding or I'm going to start blocking the light that reaches the sensor. And I it's hard to see by video, but I'm going to I want you to watch the intensity on that light. I'm going to do it very gently because this is a, this is a sensitive system and I'm I'm you know, I'm I'm trying to perturb it. So I'll do it again. It is somewhat hard to see, but basically what I'm doing is I'm deliberately putting a shadow across the sensor. The sensor now thinks that the... There it goes. The sensor now thinks that there's not so much light being transmitted and forces the light source to apply more light to give you the intensity that you're asking for. So I'll do it again. There it goes. It goes brighter. 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 Okay. So that's the C part of SIMPS. So I'm now going to summarise. This is a SIMPS2 system. It's particularly optimised for doing solar type applications. We use the P211 potential stat because it can drive 10 amps of current, which means we can drive a whole range of light sources so that you've got the most flexibility in terms of the light sources and it drives those light sources at the intensity that you require as well. And so we have the Xenium potential stat which is also an AC system, so we can start putting modulation into this system, modulation through light, modulation through current, modulation through voltage, basically modulation. Um, we have the, the slave potential stack, which is controlling the light source, and then the really clever part is, your experiment is sitting here, and you want to believe in your transfer function type experiments that the light intensity that you think you're applying is actually reaching the sample and we do it through that sensor here and as I've demonstrated if this light source isn't delivering the intensity of light that you're demanding from the software then this will increase the power to this and therefore increase the intensity. Okay so that's a summary of the SIMPS2 system please if you have any questions feel free to contact Xana. Okay thanks very much.